the the power of merchandising. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, how what's been the experience? Because as you were talking about, in my head, I was like, I'm a stand-up comedian. At what point, how, and when should I start setting up my own little merchandise? You know, like my T-shirt, my this, my that. So, uh, good jazz. Good jazz. But I'm, but I'm asking is like, how, how, wh when do you think is the best time for someone if, if they're like an I, artist? I, I, I would say ASAP, now. Like, do it now. Don't wait, don't, don't think. Cause, yeah, because even if it's only your grandma wearing it, you know, someone's yeah. going to see it. Do it now because you are more of a brand than you realize. You are more of a brand than we realize. If we knew about brands and entrepreneurship and being able to go on uh, the way we're going on right now, like, you see, when I'm telling my story, I'm going in depth, details and breaking it down. Mm. But I can stand here also talk in a certain way where I don't have to mention all of that. But this is the first time I speak about it. Like, yeah. you know, do it now. Because one thing I understand about branding is you need to have merch, like have it. Because you never know the next person. You can even walk out of this building right now. The person that sees your T-shirt that you're passing a T-shirt to is your next big deal. That's one. And two, in a way, it's also free advertising. Free advertisement. But you, you're giving yourself also some value. Mm. And you're getting yourself recognized. Cause, uh, shout out to you, Kyle McGuinness. He's a friend of mine and he's a filmmaker, right? Yeah. And he's got this business. Uh, well, he's got multiple businesses. But he would always show up to practice with doing like stage combat and have yeah. it. He'd have his own merch on. You know, yes. I'd be like, huh. Best way. It's like, why am I not doing that? Best way, best way. You need <laughs> Obviously, you need money to make money, so it's a bit of an investment. Yes. But there's something to it, like some sort of merch. It's interesting you say that. So we came up with, a, we wanted to print our jumpers. That's in the time I'm talking back mm. and forward. Back then, when I was working with Gujas, we would print jumpers, red jumpers. All they had was hip-hop revival, entertainment and then with tiny little diamonds on it right yeah and then in the back he's gonna have one blood crew here yeah and then in the top he says together we stand just no more red jumpers yeah guild it was a gilded i don't know if they were gilded or fruit the loom they were a really good material but no yeah. no like the, the 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 good ones you get nowadays and we just was like let's sell it for 50 pounds and I didn't know much about business. I didn't know nothing about business. I just yeah. knew to dance. He knew pretty much. He was my challenge, my, I would say he was like my manager, my mentor. Everything I had for business, I learned through him. Yeah. 50 pound, bro. I was like, what are you going to sell to jump over 50? What do you think we are, like uh, Jay-Z or something? He was like, yeah, we are. We one blood crew. The way he used to talk about us was more level. We one blood crew. Everybody's following us. Everybody wants to buy our jumpers. Okay, we'll sell it for 50. Now, bear in mind, we made the jumpers for 17 pounds, mm. right? We get it made and everything, 17 pounds. 50 pounds, he wants to sell it. There is like 33 pounds of profit. profit. Bro, the whole city bought the jumpers. The whole city. And bear in mind, we were not, look, we were not based in any particular area. The street dance was the street dance classes were in the studio, but the the place we were just around town, you know, dance the street where you find us performing mm. in the street. Were like, yeah, the street dancers, the whole street bought it, families bought it, fifty pound. They were making money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I thought I mentioned that when you dropped the the the, the merchandise uh, question because from back then we we're already selling stuff for fifty pound. I mean, that, that just because you brought it up and it's a question that I have in my head because I'm in that boat right now where I'm navigating this space and I'm yeah. trying to grow and I'm trying to get my name out there. But that's something I feel like a lot of artists not necessarily ta tapping into. I think it's happening now more and people are becoming more aware in a yeah, business yeah, perspective. Yeah. yeah. But it's just something that goes to, you know, it needs to be mentioned that don't forget about the power of merchandise because once people start buying stuff that they can wear that yeah. represents you, yeah. they feel slightly differently about you because yes, they've yes. invested even more. Yeah, so yeah. it's like the bond becomes stronger. Yes, true, true. And especially if you're active and doing something like what you're doing, mm. like comedy and you know a people person, and you know you brought me into this and you wanted to you to hear my story, get my story out. I mean, I've been here for twenty years. Mm. Really like somebody to acknowledge and get my story out. If you get what I mean, but. Having what you do as a brand is already something powerful. Because, like, right today, we could have been wearing 
a, t- a Silas T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, straight up, you could be wearing Silas T-shirt, and whoever's watching that knows me and see me looking good with it and knows is gonna get to know you straight away. Mm. That's double marketing right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember watching this clip. It was about it was about P Diddy, I think, when he was doing music videos or yeah. parties or whatever. And the idea was that he would make, he would wear his own merch and would make other people wear his merch as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone's just having fun. They're not thinking about this. Meanwhile, he's making big money because everyone's seeing, oh my God, this is so cool. All these cool people are wearing this merch. We want to be a part of it. So he just made a ton of money with Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean I do, I'm not supposed to swear. I'm gonna have to cut, cut that one out. Uh, I know, I know, no worry, don't worry. A ton of money. Yeah. He just made a ton of money. There is a guy. There's a guy I know called Gary V. I don't know if you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the time, the uh, is actually understandable for us to release that cursing word. Like, if you wanna say the the f word or you wanna say uh, or something like that. There is. Passion and power behind it. Yeah, of course. Like he said, you want to say, "Oh, this is good," or oh, "This is f-ing good." Yeah, but we we had the, we yeah. had the chat of like we yeah, we gotta yeah, yeah. try to yeah. So let let's let 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 us let us stick to that. Let's stick to that. Yeah, because yeah. I can also easily get into it without knowing. Yeah. <laughs> so, but back to my li- the yeah. Let's go story. back to the story. That was just a little detour because that was something fascinating for me. Yeah, about yeah. The power of merchandising. 